new year, new exam, but there are certain tips and tricks that you can use to get a 1600 on the SAT in 2022, even though the 2022 SAT might be a little more challenging since it's a newer exam. Yes, there will be new problems and readings, but it does not matter because in this video, I'll share with you exactly the step-by-step -step process to make sure you maximize your SAT score this year. So the first tip I have to give you is to make sure you have a perfect SAT study regime. Now, a lot of students don't have a good SAT study regime, and that's understandable because you're never really taught how to study for the SAT on a day-by-day -day basis. But I'll solve that problem right here for you right now. So on the SAT, there's two major topics, right? There's math and there's reading. Now, some students just binge math and then just binge reading. But the problem with that is, say, let's say you binge math for one month, and the next month you just do SAT reading. Well, that second month, you might be forgetting your SAT math concepts, or you might get really rusty by the time the exam comes around because you've been focusing on SAT reading for the past month and you did SAT math two months ago. So I do not recommend this technique. Technique I do recommend is to practice SAT math and SAT reading every other day for two to three hours per day. So let's say it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you'll do SAT math for two to three hours. Then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you'll do SAT reading for two to three hours, and then Sunday's break. It's like going to the gym with Sunday being rest day. Now, the reason I stress this study regime is because this study regime makes sure that you are studying both concepts on almost like an everyday slash every other day basis. That way you won't get rusty on either concept by the time the SAT comes around. And one thing I should add is when you study for ST math, ST reading for that week, that Saturday, you do want to take an ST practice exam just because the more practice tests you take, the more experience and exposure you get to ST problems and the patterns within these problems. So by doing this practice test over and over again every single week, you are just maximizing your chances of getting a high SAT score. Plus that way you will know if you're actually progressing on a weekly basis and if your time being spent on ST math, ST reading is actually resulting in your score being improved. Because if it's not, then you're obviously doing something wrong. Now my second tip is to speed up your learning process because so far the average way to study for the SAT has been, you know, go to test centers, buy your SAT books, and do a bunch of stuff, but in fact, there's a much easier and quicker way to study for the SAT that will probably get you good within a month or two. You see, there's something I call SAT learning. The way the SAT is worded, the dialect, the patterns it uses, the types of problems, they're all very SAT specific, not very realistic in terms of real world, and they all have a certain like way of being presented. I call it the SAT technique. Like we've all seen those problems that are like 20,000 sentences long, and they're asking just what does B and Y equals M plus B represent? So I want you to use free tools that will expedite your ST learning process. For example, Khan Academy. Tons of free problems you can practice every single day to make sure your ST score will be as high as possible. Um, SAT study notes that I even offer, check the description below, where you can literally have the full collection of tips and tricks for ST math section. So that way you don't have to find all the tips and tricks on your own. Now, one thing I do want to stress is that please do not waste money on SAT books. SAT books are great and all, but there's a bunch of free resources online that you can use to study for the SAT that will give you the same content that SAT books give you. They're just problems and practice tests. Like just use college boards, release practice exams. You do not want to be draining your wallet to be studying for the SAT because college is right around the corner and you need to save as much money as you can. Now, speaking about money, I would love to thank today's sponsor, NYTY. NYTY's Ghost Project is one of the most unique NFT collections I've ever seen because when the art is revealed, your ghost NFT will react to your face when you turn on face cam on your laptop. I personally cannot wait to see when I show my face to my ghost NFT and see what happens to the art. Like that in itself just sounds so weird and cool. Like it's kind of spooky. The public launch for this NFT is January 24th. So if you want to get your hands on the spooky NFT, then be sure to click the link in the description below. And if you do get it, come back to this video and comment down below which ghost NFT you got so I can go check it out. My third tip is to leverage the super score, okay? The SAT English is hard. The SAT math is hard. Chances are you probably won't do good on both sections at the exact same time. In fact, a lot of students do get 1600s. They usually end up taking the SAT twice. The first time they'll get an 800 math and not an 800 reading. The second time they'll get an 800 reading and not 800 math. And they'll super score the score and send that 1600 to whatever college they're going for. And this actually creates a new study regime for you because some students, I, I personally don't vouch for this. This is kind of risky. Some students will only study ST reading and then when they take the ST exam, their hope is that they'll get an 800 ST reading. So the next time they take the exam, they'll just focus on ST math, try to get 800 on that, and then that way they'll super score for like a 1600 or high 1500 score. The reason I personally don't like that, in fact, I'd rather just go for both sections the first time, and the second time just go for the one section that you're weaker on. The reason I say this is because 
What if you try for ST math, you take the exam and you still do bad ST math. At that point, you not only are doing bad ST math, but you haven't started studying for ST reading. So that way you're in a very bad position. So I just wouldn't risk that. So be sure to mix your studying for both sections and then take the SAT multiple times, three times max, two times recommended. That way you can maximize your super score because colleges really just care about your super score. They don't really care about your individual takes. And my last step, and this is a step that really helped me get a 1540 in the SAT, and that is to master Khan Academy. For those who don't know, Khan Academy is a truth, okay? It's probably the one of the best free resources for SAT, if not the best free resource that is out there because of the many problems it has, the how-to videos. Make sure when you practice on Khan Academy, you look at the beginner video and the hard video. So that way you understand how Sal Khan approaches every single problem because studying the way he approaches problems, studying the way I approach problems, that's a really good way of really understanding how to develop the SAT thinking that you need to develop to accomplish SAT problems and get them right because the SAT has you know, a variety of patterns and uh, weird words that they use to you know trick students and the more you see these problems the more you're exposed to them the faster you'll be able to see these patterns and tricks and you automatically get the problem correct which is what we all want so that's why i'd recommend just continuous doing Khan Academy, continuously bidding those problems keep doing those subtopics until you get five out of five correct and ultimately just go get that 1600 on the sat these are all the tips and tricks that you need to know to get a 1600 on the sat in 2022 Comment down below which trick is your favorite and comment down below whether you have joined the Ghost NFT Discord or not. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out Ghost NFT. Be sure to check out my study notes and be sure to get that 1600.